In today's video, we'll be showing you guys a Blender add-on that will help you optimize your workflow when using and building custom asset libraries that can be easy to manage and navigate. Made by the same creator of many popular and successful Blender add-ons like Real Cloud, Real Water, Lazy VFX, and GeoSign, just to name a few. So, if you ever tried to create an asset library before using the menu method, you know just how time-consuming that can be. Getting your thumbnails right for every asset is crucial, especially since the automatically generated thumbnails are often inaccurate and fail to represent the appended assets effectively. This can be misleading and confusing, especially when working with a huge library of somewhat similar assets, if you know what I mean. So if you are questioning what exactly does this add-on do or what it brings to the table, I'm gonna break it down for you. One of the best features of the Assets Library Builder is its ability to automatically render thumbnails for multiple assets at once, which can be done within a couple of clicks. Also, it gives you the ability to change renders and camera settings like resolution, focal length, the option for transparent backgrounds automatically locking the camera to an object, and even the shooting distance if you want to zoom in or out. But it should be noted that the render time of your previews may vary based on your machine and the number of assets that you will be rendering thumbnails for, so keep that in mind. This add-on offers a couple of settings to make your life easier when setting up your libraries, with options like Object to 3D Cursor to easily batch render your previews after setting up your lighting presets. In addition, there is an exclude camera, light, and empty feature which excludes these types of objects when rendering previews for your assets. But it doesn't stop there. The Assets Library Builder add-on goes one extra step ahead because it also comes with a selection of presets for custom lighting setups for you to choose from. This means you can showcase your assets in the best possible light ensuring they look their absolute best. Also, the developer has promised to continue adding more presets in the future, I mean future updates, which will give you even more options to choose from. Now, let's talk about the camera angles. With the camera angle preset feature, you have now the freedom to select from a variety of different angles to showcase your assets, whether you prefer a side view, a bottom view, or a top-down perspective. This feature allows you to easily switch between camera angles in a short period of time, I would say, which I think can give you full control over your assets and how it is gonna be presented. But wait, there is more. The Assets Library Builder includes some handy features to further streamline your workflow. For instance, if you need to quickly and automatically set the origin of all your models to the bottom, then this is not gonna be a problem. This add-on has you covered, with a one-click origin placement tool which helps you to easily place and move them in your scene. In addition, this Assets Library Builder comes with a batch renaming feature, which allows you to easily rename multiple assets on the go. And I think little things like this can make the difference when it comes to efficiency and productivity. Also, you can easily add author names, descriptions, and even tags, making sure that your library stays clean and organized. This one, even though it is simple, it can be a game changer for productivity and how things are done within your workflow. So, if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to stay updated with videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one.